Hey everybody, today we're going to finish our programming projects faster. So about this time of the semester, a lot of you have programming projects, and some of those projects can sometimes be a little mind-bending. And I often have students come to me and say, I'm just not sure how to start on this project. The course instructor gave me a description of it, and I sort of have this vague idea, but I don't know where to start. And sometimes students delay starting on a project because they're just not sure how to begin. So today I wanna to give you a couple pointers on how to begin a project. When you start a project, you really can think of it two ways. You can think of it top down or bottom up. The idea with top down design is you're going to look at the problem and, you, and maybe you can see from the description that there are some components you're gonna need. You're going to need something that gathers input from the user. You're gonna need something that a piece that that saves things out to files. And so you have these high level pieces. You may not know what they look like yet, but you can kind of diagram them out and you can start thinking about how you're gonna structure your code. Maybe you're gonna have a .c file or a separate class for each of these components, but it can help you just get your brain wrapped around what you're actually going to be building here. So bottom up is very simple. Basically you're going through and you're thinking, well, I, maybe I don't know what the structure of this program is actually going to look like, but I know there are pieces I'm going to need. Maybe I'm gonna need a function that sorts text alphabetically. Maybe I need a random number generator. Maybe I need code that reads CSV files in and parses them into tokens. So if you're not sure how to do that, I, I do have a couple videos on string parsing and that could be helpful. The main point with bottom up is that you're basically trying to identify functional pieces that you know you're gonna need in your project and then seeing how you can fit them together. When I approach a project, I tend to think both top down and bottom up, and I tend to try to meet in the middle. What are the high level components of my system gonna look like? What are the low level pieces that I need? And I'll start building those and I'll start testing them, but I try to keep the high level design in mind as I go. If at this point you're still confused and you're still saying, I don't know how I would even start top down or bottom up, I just have no clue, then you definitely need to go to your instructor and have a conversation. Office hours are important, they're an opportunity to get clarification on these things and you need clarification immediately. If you honestly can't think of anything you could start building that would help you get insight into how this project's gonna work, you want to talk to the instructor immediately. But usually when I talk to students, they do have some idea. They're just overwhelmed by the pieces that they don't understand. So if this is you, then start with the pieces that you do understand, either the high level structure. Maybe that makes sense to you if you're a more conceptual learner. Maybe you're having a hard time seeing how they all fit together. And maybe you just want to start building little building blocks that you know are going to be in the final code. Both approaches are fine. And the important thing is they help you get traction. They help you actually make forward progress and help you to start wrapping your head around what it is that you're building. The other nice thing about making progress, even if you're still feeling kind of lost, but you know you're making forward progress, the nice thing about it is that often in a class, people are asking questions about the project. This might be online or this might be in class. If you haven't started on the project, if you're in this foggy limbo where you really just don't know what's going on, most people's questions are gonna be meaningless to you. You aren't going to understand what they're talking about. And so even if the response seems to make sense, and even if you think, I need to remember that, the reality is you're probably not going to. You won't, because you don't understand the context. If you've started, the instructor's clarifications, the answers to questions, and the questions themselves are going to actually be a lot more meaningful to you because you understand the context. You understand why these things matter and it will actually help start stitching things together for you in your mind and help you make progress more quickly. So that's all I have for you today. Hopefully these tips are helpful on your next project, helping you to get started early, help you get traction. So that's all I have for you today. Hopefully this helps you make rapid progress on your next project. Hopefully it helps you make progress when you're not sure where to start or where to go from here. And until next time, I'll see you later.